está bien quedarse aquí y acampar por una noche? Hi, I'm Lavi. And I'm Ollie. And this is our hero, Bumblebee. Together, we are attempting a Guinness World Record to become the youngest pair to circumnavigate the globe by, by motorcycle. motorcycle. Join us for season three here in South America. Good morning world, welcome back to the channel. It's day number 237 on our circumnavigation around the globe by motorcycle. We're here in the suburbs of Buenos Aires in Argentina. We've been here for the past few days sorting out some things and catching up with our video editing. We have also decided that we will stick with our tires because have a look, check them out. So this is where we're at at the moment. And you can see that they're actually still pretty good, even though we have driven already 10,000 miles. This is the Dunlop Trailmax Mission tire, and it's done really well so far. We've been really, really happy with it actually. So I think we just have to push it a little bit further. <laughs> so let me show you guys where we're heading today. So this is the best map we could find of Argentina so far. It doesn't have any roads, but we'll try our best. So we are up here in Buenos Aires and we are aiming to get down to the Valdez Peninsula, which is down here. So today we'll be riding as far as we can get south in this direction. Yes, it's time to head south into Patagonia. The Valdez Peninsula is our next destination and this place is a mecca for marine life, for wildlife. So this is where we're going. Penguins, we're coming! <laughs> so the aim right now is to make it as far south as we can for today. So we don't know exactly how far that will be and we don't know where we end up. But it's already 7.30 and we have to pack up Bumblebee completely. <laughs> so better hit the road, let's go! Those of you that have been following the series will know that we've had our fair share of audio issues in the past. But little did we know as we rode off to begin our journey deep into Patagonia that this time both our helmet microphones had completely stopped working. But did we check the footage? Of course we didn't. We didn't find out until three days later. So fellow moto vloggers, double check your footage every day. Luckily, we are now very skilled in saving our episodes with a well-written voiceover. So let me tell you the story of our three-day journey from Buenos Aires to the Valdez Peninsula. Our mission for the past few days had been to find a company that would issue us with the civil liability insurance that was a requirement for riding in the country. After searching, calling and visiting nearly every insurance company in the city, we had a lot of trouble to find a policy that would insure a foreign vehicle ridden by a non-Argentinian. Nearly everyone we asked told us it was impossible, but just before giving up, we made a stop at an office of a company called La Segunda, our last chance. We were in luck. They were able to issue us with an insurance for three months in the whole Mercosur region, including Chile, Bolivia and Peru, and it cost us only £11. So we were all clear to hit the road south. First, we had to get out of the city. Lunchtime! We just pulled off of the highway to this little dirt road where it's a lot nicer and quieter and we put up the parasol! <laughs> <laughs> Thanks Chris! <laughs> <laughs> the sun is out and about and here are no trees around so it's the perfect thing to do! Yeah, very very nice spot for a, a lunch. Let me show you what we have. So yesterday evening I boiled up some potatoes 
Nice. So we have some boiled potatoes. I will have some raw um, broccoli with it. <laughs> <laughs> Mandarin. We're well prepared. What was that? And then... <laughs> <laughs> and Ollie gets some waffles as well. Yeah, wafers, the best. I prepared our dinner yesterday as well already. It's um, <laughs> potatoes and eggs. <laughs> <laughs> I tried to make it make a tortilla, but it didn't really work out. So it's like a mashed up tortilla. Yes. But it still tastes really good. Yes. Wow, look at that plate. Restaurant quality. We still wanted to tell you a really crazy thing about Argentina. Our host Fernando told us that the best thing we could do is actually bringing US dollar into the country. He said to us, oh no, please don't pay in pesos, pay me in US dollar. And we were like, hey, why? What's going on? So it turns out that US dollars actually have a street value here in Uruguay which is nearly double the value of the dollar itself. It's got like a whole separate price, they call it the blue dollar. This whole thing happened because the currency, the peso, is devaluing so much that basically everybody wants US dollars to keep their money safe. Everyone wants dollars and everybody's willing to pay nearly double the price of a dollar for every dollar. So in Uruguay they don't have this situation, so we were advised by Fernando to take out US dollar from the cash machine, which is possible in Uruguay, and then take it over the border to Argentina and exchange it. So we actually withdrew $500 in Uruguay for the normal price. We brought it over to Argentina and we exchanged it for 900 US dollars worth of Argentinian pesos. Can you believe that? I mean, this is absolutely crazy. I, I have to show you. <laughs> we have three stacks around 150 individual thousand peso bills. <laughs> it's insane, look at this. It's so much money, it's like <laughs> it's so much paper. <laughs> look at that. $900 for $500. <laughs> Not bad. We thought that is really interesting and to tell you as well, in case you're on your way to Argentina. Bring US dollars. Yes. We had made good progress into the Pampas, the vast countryside plains of Argentina, but we still had a long way to go. To make it the 1,000 miles required to get to the Valdez Peninsula in three days, we would have to ride our longest ride of the trip so far and try to break 300 miles in one day. Luckily, the roads were straight and empty, and with the cruise control set to 60, we let Bumblebee fly and watched the vast countryside of Argentina pass us by. Towards the end of the day, we passed a real-life gaucho moving his cattle by horseback. The legendary gaucho is renowned in folklore and has been celebrated by South American writers for hundreds of years. Like the American cowboy, these noble figures are greatly admired and are a core part of the cultural heritage of the region. Finally, after more than 10 hours on the road and with the sun setting fast, we decided to stop at a petrol station rest area we had seen on iOverlander to find a place to spend the night. Esta bien quedarse aquí y acampar por una noche? Sí? Aquí? A la vuelta. Aquí? Hay unos techitos. Ahí. A la área aquí. La cochera, tipo cochera. La armas ahí abajo, la cartita. Y meter la moto ahí abajo. Ok. Muchas gracias. Okay. 
go. Double B. His head's going to go here. Look at that. There's our little house for the night, eh? Hey? Good evening guys, we made it, hope you're alive. Another petrol station home. <laughs> yes. And we've got this beautiful canopy above us to protect us from, there's absolutely no clouds, so there's no chance of rain, but to protect us from something and it feels like a home. It's very cozy. So we've got the tent set up, not a bad spot in the end. That'll do for the night. It's 10 past eight. So that was a long, long, long day of riding on some very flat, very, very straight roads. It was our longest day on the road. By far, we absolutely smashed our previous record by I think more than a hundred miles. So we can be quite proud of ourselves. Yes, so we did at the end actually 350 miles, which is about 560 kilometers. It's pretty cool because now we are already halfway down to where we want to be in a few days. Yeah, exactly. We just need to cross this vast, vast area so that we can get to the beautiful wildlife of the Valdez Peninsula. Oh, yes. I can't wait. <laughs> <laughs> yes, so that's it from us today. We hope you enjoyed the episode. If so, please give us a thumbs up, subscribe to the channel, share the video with your friends and family, comment below, and we will see you next time. Dinner time. <laughs> My sort of tortilla. A mashed up tortilla covered in mayonnaise. <laughs> Not bad.